Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tari Karimba. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. So as you can tell from the title of this video, from this makeup look, from this red lip that I don't usually do here, from this, you know, low-key eyelash that we don't usually do here, today I am transforming myself into bad girl Riri, okay? I'm doing a Rihanna transformation. So one thing I've realized lately is that people don't really watch um, makeup tutorials like they used to. So I've decided to sort of spice things up a little by still doing my makeup tutorials but in the form of a transformation. So if you have a transformation you want to see me create, comment down below or you know pop me an email, DM me on Instagram at Tari Karimba or on Twitter at Tari Karimba and I will recreate the look. But basically I decided to create this look because you know I already had the locks in so I was like hmm. 2016 Rihanna it is okay today's video is also super special because I got these beautiful wispy lashes sweetie and I got these from the lash baddie so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the company about the lashes and all of that before we get into this video so lash baddie has 3d mink lashes and they come in seven styles the style that I'm wearing today is the wispies and as you can see these are a perfect everyday lash because they give you that volume and that you know a little bit of drama without looking hectic like you guys know usually when I put on like lashes they're dramatic and people are like oh my gosh you know so I think that these are a perfect sort of balance because they get the job done without looking too hectic and i think my favorite thing about these lashes being wispy and just you know perfect for an everyday or like low-key look is that i can wear my glasses oh my gosh so you guys are gonna see right at the end um when i tried on my glasses that i was actually able to wear my glasses which was nice because you guys know i always complain that oh i can't even like keep my makeup on all day because i have to take off my lashes um so i can wear my glasses because the girl can't see so yeah i actually tried my glasses on with these lashes sweet so this is perfect because you know even if you are someone who wears glasses like I am these lashes work pretty well with you so you can get these lashes on glamology.co.za I will leave a link down below to this specific style of lashes and I'll also leave a link to door so you can see all the other options that they do have these lashes retail for 160 rand which is actually a good price if you think about the fact that you can wear these 25 times so yeah shout out to lash baddie for gift me these beautiful lashes let's get into the tutorial so you guys can see how I transformed myself into bad girl Rihanna <laughs> Okay, so we are going to start with brows from the picture her brows are pretty thin and Yeah, they're not like bah. <laughs> You know those dark dark ones okay so i don't know how i'm going to achieve that honestly we just moved here so yeah of course i had to brush up my brows then i'm taking my essence pencil hmm I can't really see the shape of these brows because her hair is covering and then in the other photo her hand is covering so I'm just gonna do me as long as they're thin here. Okay so we're now cleaning my brows using the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. Starting to get there. Ah, I see it. I see the vision. So yeah, I'm trying not to talk too much because every time I do a video where I'm like talking, it ends up being so long. And then when I try and make it shorter, it's always so hard. Then as usual, I'm going to clean up the top using my foundation. And again, I'm going in with the NYX Born to Glow. Yeah. 
Yeah, guys, those brows are so thin. Wow. I haven't had brows this thin in a while. So to set my brows, I'm just going to go in with my got to be as usual you guys know the drill I'm just gonna put a little bit of that onto my spoolie and just like well I hope you can still see me just brush it into my brows especially now that it's hot um, this just helps to make sure that my brows don't end up looking oily and crazy. Okay, so for base, we're gonna start by moisturizing and I'm going in with my Neutrogena Moisturizer. Remember the vlog that I did when my skin was looking dry AF, guys? Look at my skin now. <laughs> it's actually looking pretty good, so yeah. I do recommend this Neutrogena Ray. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a a month update because I think I started using this in August. Yeah, we're in September now. Next, I'm going in with my primer. You guys already know hydration is my favorite thing to do before doing my base. So we're going in with the Revlon rose glow primer it's almost finished i'm so sad i actually need to buy some oh, adulting guys there's always something to pay for <laughs> who do i speak to i'm done with my free trial for adulting i can't <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to move on to foundation and you already know that I'm using my Born to Glow. So I'm going to go in, wow, it's even finished, it's on its dying legs, my Maybelline, um, Instant Age Rewind. Ugh, I need to buy makeup, guys. As you guys can see, everything is finished. Sabaweli, a PR package from all my faves so that I, you know, can keep this going. But one day is one day. And then for the rest of the part, the area, I'm gonna go back with that Born to Glow. Okay, so for powder, I'm taking my Revlon Candid. Okay, so now that I've set all the concealer, I'm going to now like bake my under eye. So that it's just as bright as bad galleries, okay? So I'm taking the Yardley Translucent Powder. So the other one was a banana powder, so it had like a a banana like yellow tinge. This one is translucent. So her bronzing slash contour situation is not very dark but again we're different complexion so I feel like I'm just gonna go for like a softer vibe and to do that I'm gonna use my Juvia's Place. So I'm going in with Kufu. Kufu is like dark but not too dark. This one. It will get the job done sufficiently and I'm just gonna take my powder brush 
and I'm just gonna start by tapping all of them. Okay guys, so at some point my memory got full, but anyway, as you can see, I managed to finish doing my whole bronzing situation. So I'm looking bronze. Hmm, that girl really would be proud. So it doesn't look like she's wearing blush and it doesn't look like she's wearing highlighter. So I think I'll just put a bit of bronzer on my nose just to carve it out. Because who doesn't want a carved nose? You get me? Okay, cool. Now my nose looks snatched. Okay, so moving on now to eyeshadow and her eyeshadow look is so simple. Um, yeah, so it's just like a dark brown, but not too dark. Yeah, a dark brown. And then right on her like lid space here, she has a lighter color, but not too much of it. And then in her lower lash line, there's brown as well. And then of course, lashes. And mascara so let's do that so i'm gonna use my revolution um makeup revolution and patricia bright collaboration palette for this so i think i'm gonna go into brown sugar which is this one And then I'm gonna go into biggest fan. And then I'm gonna go into biggest fan. And we'll just see how things go. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to just pack that eyeshadow following my contour like so, because that's how it looks on Rihanna. Okay, so once that color is packed on, I am just going to use that same brush to diffuse the edges so it's not looking harsh. Now, I'm going to go into Biggest Fan and just pack that all over my lid. Yeah. So to blend the two together, I'm just taking that first brush and I'm just going along the edge just so that, you know, it's not looking so clearly demarcated. So I'm taking a different brush and I'm just going to go into that lower lash line and I'm not going to go in so deep. I'm literally going to go in like where you guys see my fold here. Okay, so next, I can't really see if she has eyeliner on because she's looking down um, and she has lashes on. So I'm just going to put a really thin line along the edge there um, just so my lashes can pop better. So the last thing that I'm going to do before lashes is go in with my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter because this is like cream, it's not white like the next one. I'm going to put that in my waterline. So now we're going in with my lashes that I told you about at the beginning from Lash Baddie. Shout out to Lash Baddie for blessing a girl with these really beautiful wispy lashes i think this actually ties in really well with this look because you can tell that they're not like hectic like long long lashes but like she's still wearing lashes so this is perfect so this is what the packaging looks like it is so cute so as you can see the brand name is on it and it says lash baddie and the style is the wispy and then on the back you have all the information on where you can find Lash Baddy and where you can buy their lashes, okay? Okay, so with the packaging, there's a little ribbon here that you can use to pull out the packaging. How cool is that? This is so cute. This is so cute. So yeah. 
So this is the wispy guys. Look at her. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull them out of the box and I'm going to apply my adhesive. Right now I'm using the Ardell Lash Grip. So as usual, I'm just gonna take a little bit of adhesive out and then just line the per what the edge of my lash like so. Don't put too much, but don't put too little. Like, yeah, like so. So while I'm waiting for my lashes to get tacky, I've been looking at myself. <laughs> and I think I wanna go in with natural glam, which is the color on the side here. Yeah, I think that could just Add a bit of oomph to my look, yeah. Yeah, I think it's brighter now like Rihanna's one. Mm. So while we're waiting for those lashes, we're going in with our setting spray and I'm using the Bet & Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish as usual. I love this because it just leaves me looking good. Mm. 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 I love it. And then after that, I'm going in with my Maybelline Lasting Fix because this is going to keep it in place all day and today for once i'm actually going to keep my makeup on all day so yeah mm. i'm about to look snatched just wait and see mm. i look good scales anyway let's go into the lashes, sweetie. So I'm pick, I pick them up with my tweezer as usual. And to put them on, you guys already know the vibes. So put your mirror down, like under your chin, so you can see where your natural lashes are. And then you just place as close to your lash, your lash line as possible. Okay, oh, I'm loving these already. Okay, so you place them as close to your natural lashes as possible. And then, as if you can still see a gap, like I can still see a gap, now I have to play around and move the lashes closer, like so. And you're done. It's so simple. Like, lashes are so simple, guys. That's all you need to do. And these lashes look so good. Wow. Mm. Okay, so my glue is still drying. So while that's happening, I'm just taking the next one. Okay, so that's my lashes done. Let me zoom you in. So you can see so can you guys see that so this side the glue is still drying that's why you can still see it but can you see that it's like oh, oh. okay i'm centered again so it's a wispy this is the whole point of a wispy lash it's not dramatic it's just enough it just adds some volume so that the lashes still look like yours but then you know it's nothing dramatic so mm. This is perfect. I look just like bad girl, really. Okay. Okay, so let me zoom you out and we'll do my lips. Okay, cool. I think that's okay. Okay. This looks so good. Wow. You guys know that I'm like a dramatic lash person. So this is a new sort of vibe for me. 
but I really love these. I feel like, um, you know, when I start working, when I get into corporate, these are the type of lashes I'd be wearing to work, sweetie. I'm sure I can even wear my glasses with these. Let me try. But I'm not gonna do the most because I don't wanna mess up. Oh, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, cool. I can be corporate bay with these on. So I can keep my makeup on all day. And as you can see, like nothing moved as well. Like no makeup came off because what did I tell you about lasting fix? It will not move. Anyway. Let's go to the lips. Okay, so as you can see, or as you saw at the beginning, Rihanna's lips are red, sweetie. And you guys know that I'm not a, I'm not a bright red lipstick type of gal because I don't know. I just, I just feel like it. I don't know. I like a dark red. I don't like a bright red. But anyway yeah and the other thing that i like to do is i like to line my lips before um i put on any lipstick but obviously i don't have a red lip liner or eyeliner so i'm just gonna go in guys wish me luck pray for me so i'm going in with mac ruby woo but this is the mini as you can see it is so tiny it's ridiculous but as a girl who doesn't like wear red like why should I come and kill myself? This would have been the perfect time for me to have some fancy beauty sweetie, but ish, it's not as accessible in South Africa, guys. And when I say it's not as accessible, I mean that getting it here is a little hectic because you know how customs is. Sometimes you pay, sometimes you don't pay, but you never know how much you're gonna pay, what percentage it's gonna be. On top of that, if you try to buy the stuff here, it's way more expensive. It's like, for example, the Fenty Gloss Balm is like $19, which is about 330 Rand. But then, guess how much it is on take a lot? 800 Rand. So that's what I say when I, when that's what I mean when I'm saying it's not accessible. It's not readily available and when you buy it, customs kicks in and if you try to buy it here, it's more expensive. And all of those things affect the thing we call accessibility, you know? Anyway, one day I will work with Fenty. Wait and see. So anyway. So anyway, in the meantime, our girl Miss Ruby Woo is going to hold it down. Um, pray for me, guys. I never not line my lips, so I'm actually just going through it. I think the, the most Rihanna-like thing about this whole thing for me is that I, I do have a prominent Cupid's bow like her. That's all. Anyway. Whew. Mm. Okay. Okay, so far so good. So as you can see, like my lipstick is still sharp because I literally don't use this lipstick, guys. Having when was the last time you saw me wearing red lipstick? Actually. So anyway, so I'm using the sharp edge as my sort of like to line everything before I now go in and just apply because I want it to be like precise. Let me try to zoom you into my lips. Okay. 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 Come through, Tariri. Oh, <laughs> I actually had an ex who used to call me Tariri because my love for Rihanna is crazy, guys. So, yeah. <sighs> guys, our Rihanna transformation is complete. Now I just need to change my top. But. <laughs> mm. Okay. 
can y'all see me? Okay, guys, let me go change and come back. So, guys, I'm back. <laughs> mm. 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 What? Hey. I don't even know how to behave because I look good. I won't lie, I haven't, you know, not worn. So this is the first time I haven't worn blush in a very long time. And highlight. And this is the first time I'm not lining my lips with like a darker color because I always brown line my lips with a brown eyeliner. So it's a lot of firsts, you know, first time wearing low key lashes. But I look good. I can't tell if Rihanna has any um, earrings on, but I want to wear earrings. So. Mm, 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 mm. Can you see me? <sighs> okay, guys. So clearly, my transformation was a success darling so now i actually need to like take photos and um obviously i'm gonna try to take photos posing the same way that she is posing um and obviously i'm gonna put together a little clip nyana where i'm just moving trying to be rihanna like you know um just so i can make like a visuals type vibe as an intro Oh, that would be nice. Okay, so let me get on that. But anyway, this is the final look. I definitely think I slayed this. I'm going to put a um, photo of Rihanna here. So you guys can see. Maybe I'll put the one where she's holding herself like this. So yeah. So, so yeah, I'm going to put up a comparison now. So you guys can see. But I did actually do a thing. Okay. I did the thing. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Let me know if you actually enjoyed this style of video so that I can continue to do transformations because I actually really enjoyed this transformation. So yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch this. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I am officially 20 subbies away from 1K. And of course, when we get to 1K, we have a fabulous giveaway coming up. So what are you waiting for, sweetie? Subscribe now. I didn't hear the bell. Did you click on the bell too? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time.